Hello dear friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be discussing how to find out characteristic and minimal polynomial of matrices. Both the example we hear are very trivial but interesting. If I see the example number one, this is an upper triangular matrix. So the eigenvalue of this matrix are nothing but 1, 0, 0. Right, so my eigenvalues are 1, 0, 0. Therefore, the characteristic polynomial, suppose I pick, I'll call this matrix as A, then the characteristic polynomial of matrix A in terms of lambda will look like lambda minus 1, lambda minus 0, lambda minus 0. So that is same as what? That is same as lambda minus 1, lambda square. And ultimately, this becomes my characteristic polynomial of A in terms of lambda. Since it was an upper triangular matrix, we got it very easily. If it is a, not an upper triangular matrix, we utilize to find out this characteristic polynomial. We use the determinant of A minus lambda and find out that determinant. Right? Similarly, if I see the other matrix over here, the eigenvalue, since again it is an upper triangular matrix, the eigenvalues are 1, 0, 0. And if I call this matrix as B, then the characteristic polynomial of B again is the same thing. That is nothing but lambda minus 1 lambda square. It was an easy exercise to find out the characteristic polynomial. But the now comes the most important and interesting part. That is how to find out the minimal polynomial. Before finding out, there are few results that students should know how to find out a minimal polynomial. The first thing that we should notice, whatever is my minimal polynomial, will divide the characteristic polynomial. So to find out the minimal polynomials, I will go for all the divisors of the characteristic polynomial. Right? Other thing is, my minimal polynomial annihilate the matrix. It is the least polynomial which annihilates the matrix. It is a monic polynomial which annihilates the matrix. Right? So, minimal polynomial satisfy three conditions. That it is monic. That means starts with one. It is least degree polynomial. And this minimal polynomial annihilate the given matrix. Apart from this, there comes a, one of the most important thing is minimal polynomial and characteristic polynomial has same root. This is one of the interesting results which help us to get the answer very quickly. So if I see over here, in this case, I have my characteristic polynomial as lambda minus 1 raised to 1 and lambda square. If I think of divisors of characteristic polynomial, possible divisors of characteristic polynomial of A in terms of lambda are who? It could be 1, 1 is a divisor of this. It could be lambda minus 1. It could be only lambda. It could be lambda square. It could be lambda minus 1 times lambda or it could be lambda minus 1 times lambda square. Correct. Now, from this, if I see this all could be the choice of minimal polynomial. If I just tell you that minimal polynomial divide the characteristic polynomial. But if I increase one more result in my basket that my minimal polynomial and characteristic polynomial has same roots. That means my minimal polynomial also has 1 and 0 as its roots. If I see this, this is not possible since it has 1 and 0 not as its root. This is also not possible because it does not have 0 as its roots. This is also not possible because 1 is not a root of this. 1 is not a root of this. This is also not possible. Therefore, only possible choice
of minimal polynomial of a in terms of lambda are it could be lambda minus 1 times lambda or it could be lambda minus 1 times lambda square. Since we know my minimal polynomial is always a least degree polynomial which annihilates. So, I will try for this first and if it is not satisfied, this becomes my minimal polynomial. So, I will try for this. My first choice of minimal polynomial is this. So, we consider a minus, I am substituting a in this polynomial. So, if I substitute a, lambda becomes a, 1 becomes identity matrix, lambda becomes a. So, if I substitute, what it becomes? My A matrix is 1, rest all 0. So, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then it is subtracted with the identity. So, 1, 1, 1, rest all are 0. And this matrix is multiplied with A. So, 1, rest all are 0. Okay. So, if I subtract this two first, so I get my 0, minus 1, minus 1. And this is multiplied with 1, rest all are 0. Right? Since both are diagonal matrix, to multiply, we can multiply the diagonal. And what we found is ultimately it becomes a 0 matrix. Everything is 0. Hence, this is a polynomial which is monic, which annihilates, which is of least degree. Hence, therefore, the minimal polynomial of A in terms of lambda must be lambda minus 1 lambda. Okay. Now, I hope you understood this. Please let me in the comment section if you have any doubt, difficulty. Over here, we had the matrix A. Similarly, we had matrix B as well. And both had the same characteristic polynomial. But do they mean they are the same minimal polynomial as well? Let us just check. Again, the same thing should be written over here. That means the same part over here. Now, the minimal polynomial of B in terms of lambda has two choices. It could be lambda minus 1 times lambda or it could be lambda minus 1 times lambda square. Right. Let us just check for this first. So, I consider B minus I times B. So, if I do B minus I, how it will look? It is 1. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, rest all are 0, minus i is 1, 1, 1, rest all are 0, this must be multiplied with what, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, rest all are 0. If I subtract this two matrix, what I get is, uh, I get 0, 0, 0, I get minus 1, 1, 1, this is also minus rest all are 0 and I need to multiply this with 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Let us just multiply this to matrix. If I multiply the first with anything, it becomes 0, 0, 0. If I multiply the second with the first, it is 0. Second row with the second column, it is 0. But when I multiply the second row with the third column, that is 2, 3, that becomes minus 1. Right? Hence, this could not be the 0 matrix. This could not be the 0 matrix. Hence, what I found, this polynomial does not annihilate my matrix B. Hence, this cannot be my minimal polynomial. Only choice for the minimal polynomial is this. Right? So, the minimal polynomial of B in terms of lambda is written as lambda minus 1 times lambda square. So, what we found, this is one of the example in which they are the same characteristic polynomial, but their minimal polynomial was different. Right? I hope you understood this result. Basic example, but yes, it clears your concepts. If you have any doubt, difficulty, please let me know in the comment section. Okay? Bye-bye.